Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or a tyrant worth having. When I'm setting these recordings up, I'm obviously not wearing a suit, I'm not in my green screen studio, and I'm not even anywhere in my classroom. I'm literally outside against a wall just enjoying the beautiful sunshine after a very stormy day. The day started literally with a thunderclap that sounded like a sonic boom. You pretty much knew it was coming because of the huge lightning bolt that hit the ground or literally went up into the sky for those of us who are interested in science and the science guy and literally it was sort of marvelous but that sonic boom said god in heaven was pretty upset because we don't usually have sonic boom thunderclaps like that unless something happens like the crack of the temple back in the old testament or someone's upsetting god and openly i truly believe that in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and underneath our laws of American culture, of American society, of American history, we have the right to have a faith in the Lord that we choose. Now, most people would agree that there is only one Lord, a mother and father God of all the earth, regardless of what planet you live on, what country you come from, what race you are, what language you speak, what socially diverse capabilities you have this week. In life, we have moments of time to keep growing in our spirituality, and I highly encourage you to find a way to really understand and implement the concept of the Holy Ghost. Please stop talking about the Trinity in your Catholic Church, in your Lutheran faith, in your Methodist upbringing if you don't have any clue what that ghost can do for you. Go to chapter 10, The Good, Cha the Good Shepherd in the book of John. Read how the Lord leads you through different spaces and different places to know where your place is in the world.